Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Logic Medico. Today's topic is difference between an infant and an adult larynx. So we have made a summary of this. So should be able to know the following differences. First, above this larynx there will be tongue. So the tongue in the infant is usually large while that in the adult is not normal size. So the tongue can fall backwards and close the laryngeal inlet. Laryngeal inlet is guarded in front by the epiglottis, behind by the retinoid cartilage, on either side by aryepiglottic folds. So the tongue in the infant or the pediatric age group is usually large. Next, epiglottis. Epiglottis is large and floppy. It is usually omega shape because it's really large. It will become one omega shape epiglottis. It will be like this, like a omega symbol. Okay, but in uh, adults, it is like a banana leaf. It is uh, strong and firm. And straight. Okay, the level of epiglottis is at the level of the third and fourth cervical vertebra, while in adults it is slightly lower, and it is fifth and sixth cervical vertebra. That is the epiglottis level. Trachea is smaller. You can see the dimension over here is smaller and shorter in pediatric age group. The internal diameter of trachea is hardly three to five millimeters in pediatric. In adult, it will be. 3 centimeters. I'm talking of the diameter of the trachea. Okay, 3 centimeters. Okay, this infantile larynx or the pediatric larynx will become adult size at the time of puberty. That is approximately 12 to 13 years of age. Every year, one, one to two millimeter size increase will be there in the lumen of the larynx and the trachea. So it will reach the adult size by puberty. Therefore, the change of voice at puberty. Okay. Next, the entire shape, the lumen of the larynx, if you take. Uh, the, its funnel shape, it is funnel, you can make out. It's a funnel shape in pediatric age group, while it is a cylindrical shape, columnar or cylindrical also you can tell. Cylindrical shape in adult larynx. So, obstruction is more common in pediatric age group, especially the subglottic area. Glottic means where vocal cord is there, subglottic means just beneath the vocal cord. Subglottic obstructions are common in pediatric age group because of this shape. What is the shape? Funnel shape. Okay. Whereas adult, it is the glottic area is the narrowest area. Overall three dimension it will be in like an hourglass appearance. But the entire thing if you take it is like a columnar or a cylindrical shape. Next coming to the position of the larynx. So the position of the larynx is in child it is angulated. Okay, In such a way the angulation is trying to cause obstruction in pediatric age group. But in adult it is straighter. The larynx position is much straighter. It is not angulated. Okay. So the angulation is away from the glottis in pediatric age group. Because it is straight, there is no angulation here. There is no angulated uh, area. It is almost parallel to one another. Okay, But here, away from the glottis, there will be angulation. Next, the narrowest point, this just now I told you, the narrowest point, there are three areas in the larynx. The supraglottic area above the vocal cord, the glottic area at the level of vocal cord, and infraglottic area below the vocal cord. So the subglottic area or the infraglottic area is the narrowest part. In adults, the glottic area where the vocal cords are there, na, that is the narrowest area. Okay, and uh, when you compare the lung volume between adult and uh, pediatric age group, the lung volume is approximately five to six liters in adult. Okay, where is liters and where is ml? The lung volume in pediatric is only 250 ml. That's why oxygen saturation, if it falls down in pediatric, it is a dangerous sign. Whereas in adult, you can see many adults smoking. Hmm? doing bad things but still uh, they are surviving right that is because they have a huge lung volume these people are exploiting the uh, lung volume which is 5 to 6 liters in adult so they are damaging their alveoli every day by smoking so avoid smoking okay this is about a brief note about infant and adult larynx kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell button for the latest notification press the thumbs up button if you like this video thank you